uh, Doomsday is building a temporary spawn for us until I paste mine in. I'm gonna wait a couple days to make sure nobody has any houses they want moved first. So just let me know if you've got houses you want moved away from spawn so that I can place the spawn building here. It's not completely done, but I'll just work on it in this world since apparently I can run it just fine. So, yeah. Um, other thing is I wanted to show you about the teleport system and about the setting home and that kind of stuff. And Did you see my world twice on fan? Ignore that. I'm going to mute you for a second. Hey, I'm going to mute you for a second. I'm making a video real quick. Okay. So anyway, um, we've got a couple new plugins here that I made. Uh, XP delete deletes XP orbs. Uh, those will be obviously fixed later, so I'll just remove that when they're fixed. Um, Enderport is a plugin I made so that you can do slash EP and a name like dooms to transport to somebody oh. and it charges you an ender pearl and uh, when you do that it makes an effect and I'm gonna make this person do it so that you can see it so he's gonna do it now So basically it creates a lightning bolt where you were and where you're going, but it doesn't hurt you. And um, you can use that to teleport to anybody or to the spawn point, which is what he's working on, I guess. And um, you can also use it to te teleport to your home. I don't think I have any more pearls on me right now, so it'll tell me I don't have any. Um, so what you're going to do is give myself one, just for the sake of testing. I don't normally do this. So I'll type home, slash home, it teleports me to my home, and uh, I'm looking at the ceiling because I forgot that it looks, it saves the direction you're looking to. So then um, you can also set your home, but it costs three diamonds, and I'm not going to do that right now, but it's set home. And um, so this basically encourages people to, to have to like gather resources to be able to do these kinds of things. and and I think it makes the blocks more, or the uh, items more valuable, the items that you can, that, that are normally useless right now, like under pearls. Um, and, uh, you know, it gives diamonds more value too, because you use it and set your spawn. And it also prevents people from setting their spawn in other people's houses just to annoy them because it costs diamonds and stuff like that. Um, so let's see what else we got. Uh, I'm also planning on adding a trade system soon. And there will be basically there will be places you go to in the world, and when you're within a certain amount of distance from this place, you can trade with people uh, using the command. And you you do like trade requests. You'll send them a trade request. They'll send you their offer back, and you accept or deny it. And you'll be able to trade any item for any item in any amount. Uh, so that should help. Um, also, you know, stimulate trade a little bit. Uh, I'm trying to get a moneyless economy going on, so we'll see how that goes. Um, currently, the server's PvP off. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Let's see if I've got any more plugins I can list off. Lockheads on here. Verdant Green is a plugin I'm working on, but it's it's already working pretty well. It basically, based on the biome, it ch it checks all active chunks, only chunks that are loaded. So if you're, you know, within 12 chunks of a chunk it'll be loaded if a player is within 12 chunks of any chunk it'll be loaded so anyway it goes through the list of loaded chunks and randomly there's a small chance that uh, a kind of plant will grow depending on the biome so like if it's a desert it could be a cactus you know that's about it for a desert um, I might add the dead shrub thing later um, and then you know for forests it'll grow trees or mushrooms D depending on the light level it'll grow mushrooms or flowers um since there's no red flowers in 1.8 uh or in the generated maps from 1.8 i uh did that so there would be um it also randomly plants saplings in all over the world but not not a lot i mean it only goes off once per hour and 
the chance of um, something spawning in a particular chunk is 10%. So, you know, for every 10 chunks, averagely, there will be one that gets something. And it could be, depending on the chunk, it could be one of, like, m multiple things. So it won't always be saplings. So there it really, when it runs, it usually only creates about maybe 150 uh, blocks in the entire world. And, you know, it doesn't, I mean, it really doesn't affect that much stuff. Especially if less people are online, it creates less stuff because less stuff is loaded. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, got log block running, so don't grief. Griefing is no longer allowed on our server. Uh, that was apparently a big cause of problems with people. Um, personally, my beliefs on it is that, uh, uh, I think people got way too upset about stuff and took stuff way too personally because it's just a game and losing stuff is part of the game but people got really obsessed with with uh, vengeance and trolling each other back and forth and so that's part of the reason we're not PvP right now and we're not allowing griefing so if you grief you'll get banned for now uh, and it's probably permanent actually the griefing thing um, but PvP may be turned back on later between factions. I haven't decided. Anyway, um, I think that's about it. I would tell you about Third Eye, but I don't. All I need to tell you about Third Eye is that obviously it tells me stuff, and I'm adding new stuff to it. So if you're cheating, don't think you're getting away with it because um, I'll catch you, and then you'll be banned. So I'm trying to encourage a fair fun environment here where everybody like has to work for their stuff and so you know if you don't want that that's fine but that's what I'm working for so um I'm sorry I had to give away PvP too I really wanted it to be a PvP thing like uh but people were uh taking every opportunity they could to find ways to exploit the system and um, it got to be really tiring trying to combat just the new ways people would find to cheat. So, um, I think this new version will really help with PvP once I put it back in, like with the bow changes, uh, less, uh, like spam, you'll actually have to aim, you know, and stuff like that. Um, hunger will play a big part, I think. But once the modding stuff comes out, that's what I'm really worried about, because then I can actually, like, really change the game and program new stuff into it. And I'm really excited about, like, being able to create, like, I really want to create, like, new kinds of plants and new kinds of just everything, basically. Because I've always been really into creating stuff, and, uh, like, even doing the pixel art would be fun. And I think we could really create a kick-ass fucking server here. Uh, sorry for my language there, but I'm a little excited about it, because uh, we have some really good ideas about how we could make the server really awesome and add lots of cool stuff to it. So, really excited about uh, whenever that comes out. I heard it was going to be 1.8. Now I hear it's going to be 1.9. We'll see what happens. Um, and that's about it for now. I'm going to get back to playing the game. If you want, I'll show you my house, but I think you've already seen it. Um, in the mountains here, my vine farm down there, this is my regular farm here, it's the way down, obviously I've had a few creepers around, I've noticed in this version you have to, see look at that, you have to really torch the crap out of areas, otherwise you will definitely get monsters and not only that, but monsters wander a lot more, so even if they're, if your areas are lighted, you can still get monsters in your area if they're smart enough. So you really gotta watch your walls and stuff like that. Um, somebody's building an airship here, and from what I can tell, that looks like it's gonna be really, really sweet. They're gonna have to move it down a bit, though, because look, they're right at the sky. There's no way they're gonna get the sails on there. <clears throat> anyway, that'll actually be no problem, because when my spawn is pasted in, it's 96 high, so it's going to have to go below the normal ground level, and then I'm going to have to terraform everything around that to look natural, going down to that level. 
So if this ship is close to that town, then it'll I'll be able to move it down and it'll still look like it's really high up. You know what I mean? Excellent. I kind of fell backwards there. Alright, so... I guess I'll... do a little exploring here on camera before I go. That's the help message system. I've showed that in my videos before. That's I, I use that on this server too. Help message. Um, sends random messages out that help. You know, just tell you things about the server. If you, but you can read them all yourself and it's really useful to you. Just by doing like slash hm1 actually it starts at zero two and there's just there's like I think there's like 12 of them right now or whatever it said 14 there's 14 of them right now so yeah let's go to my mind I don't mind showing you guys my stuff because if you come grief my house I'll ban you <laughs> and stuff's lock headed so that's fine alright we're gonna go down to my mine if you ever f come on the server feel free to come down to my mine and help me light it up some more and explore and take whatever you want I mean not stuff not torches but you know any ores you find feel free like that redstone there don't really care about that right now although I do love redstone let's see what we got here uh, let's see I know my way around here kind of yeah this is the right way right over here right over here I actually built a ladder that's a lot farther in this mine but I uh, <clears throat> kinda forgot to go that way when I was coming down, so sorry about that. But I'm almost to where it comes down anyway. Just some walking beats. Walking beats. Uh, we got. What am I doing? I'll take that. String is awesome because you can use it to make wool, and wool is very useful on our server, and will become more useful. Uh, wool is what you use to prevent teleports with the teleport system. If you don't want people teleporting to you, you can prevent them from teleporting you by holding wool in your inventory. I have four on me right now. It's purple wool, you have to do it. So you al also need lapis lazuli and red roses to make the correct dye. But, um, Basically, it's to prevent. It's it. it you, you still have to work to uh, you know be able to prevent TPs to you. And then oh, look at that nice ravine full of freaking monsters. I'm gonna have to get down there somehow. Um, so you still have to work to get the item that prevents TPs. You know, just like people have to work to get the item to TP to you. And if you prevent a TP that way, it uh consumes the person's pearl still, so it's a way of like forcing people to ask to teleport to you so you can put your purple blocks on the ground or something, or in a chest and then they can TP to you otherwise, they fuck themselves by not asking because then they have no pearl <laughs> um, so that's pretty awesome you know. and it only consumes one for every time you deny a TP so I have four on me, that means if four people try to teleport to me, I'll deny four, but then the next person can get to me. Let's see here. Some lapis, awesome. Help me make some more uh, purple wool. 